Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh and Congress President Sonia Gandhi released a report to the people on the fourth anniversary of UPA 2. The UPA has been in power for nine years. This is the last such report before the general election stated for 2014. In the, gov in the report, the government highlights four areas of success. The areas include improved performance of the economy, growth becoming more inclusive, better governance of welfare programs and improved relations with a changing and challenging world. On the occasion, the Prime Minister linked faster growth to the ability to provide expanding opportunities, especially to the youth and generate revenue to support inclusiveness programs. On the government's uh, achievements on inclusiveness, Dr. Singh says uh, faster agricultural growth combined with government programs such as Manrega and the expanded pace of investment in rural infrastructure have improved real wages of agriculture labor. Other programs that the Prime Minister stressed on were the Sarf Shiksha Abhyan, the Midday Meal Scheme, the ICDS, the National Rural Health Mission, the Janani Suraksha Yojana, the Rashtriya Swast Bhima Yojana and Skill Development Mission among others. Setting the stage for UPS March, the uh, elections next year, UPS Chairperson Sonia Gandhi came out with a hard-hitting statement against the opposition for stalling parliament. The UPS Chairperson also stood strongly by the Prime Minister. Ahead of the UPA report card release, BJP came down heavily on the ruling alliance. The party attacked UPA saying that it has failed badly and targeted the Prime Minister and blamed divided leadership for the alleged failure. Senior BJP leader Arun Jaitley claimed that UPA's fourth anniversary is being celebrated in an environment of gloom, pessimism, cynicism and negativism. He alleged the government has misused the CBI. BJP leaders uh, refused to take questions on bigger role for Narendra Modi in the next general elections. BJP rejected the idea of a third front in its presser but admitted that it's an error of coalition. Speaking exclusively to Doordarshan, Information and Broadcasting Minister Manish Tiwari took on the BJP for attacking the government on its ninth, uh, on the UPS ninth anniversary. He said it was for the BJP to introspect as to why it's, it kept losing election after election. External Affairs Minister Salman Khurshid also spoke to Doordarshan on the completion of nine years of the UPA government. He said that the government is committed to bring food security bill which will benefit crores of poor people. Scheduled tribes form an important part of India's diverse communities. Today, on the occasion of Tribal Day, Tribal Affairs and Panchayati Raj Minister K.C. Dio said that the government will ensure the tribals get minimum base price for all their products. Vice President Hamid Ansari on Wednesday paid tributes to memorial constructed by the Uzbekistan government in the remembrance of late Indian Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri. Hamid Ansari is on a four-day official visit to Uzbekistan. He held bilateral talks with Uzbek President. President Pranam Mukherjee conferred the 47th Gyanpeet Award, uh, the country's highest literary award for the year 2011, on noted writer Pratibha Ray. On the occasion, the President said that Ray has been described as a complete writer with almost all kinds of writings to her credit. Delhi High Court ordered perjury prosecution of Bollywood actor Shine Munshi and ballistic expert P.S. Manocha for turning hostile in the Jessica Lal murder trial case. The court, however, absolved 17 other witnesses. India successfully test fired the 290-kilometer range Brahmo supersonic cruise missile from Navy's latest guided missile frigate INS Tarkash off the coast of Goa. The missile performed the high-level sea maneuver in the pre-term flight path. The IPL spot fixing scandal has acquired a more sinister dimension, going beyond players, bookies, and Bollywood. The trail seems to have reached the doorsteps of the BCCI itself that Nexus has spread to Bangladesh as well. A PIL was filed in the Madras High Court a bench seeking to direct the government to take over management and administration of the IPL and the Board of Control for Cricket as it had failed to promote the game. Brad Hodge single-handedly guided Rajasthan Royals to a four-wicket win over Sunrisers Hyderabad in the IPL. Rajasthan will now face Mumbai Indians in the second qualifier at the Eden Gardens on Friday.
Blistering heat is affecting large parts of the country with temperatures soaring over 45 degrees Celsius and expected to rise further, but a western disturbance may bring down maximum temperature by 2 degrees Celsius from 26 degrees.